stands for the Scrappy Stitch Sampler Squares Blanket. This is a crochet along that I am hosting for this year. It is one square every month of this year for the duration of the year. And at the end of the year, we will have 12 squares all joined together to make one blanket. Every square is going to be a different stitch. The squares will be released um, every month, the second Tuesday of every month. So, um, it is a medium four weight project. So you can use any medium four weight yarn that you wish to use, whether it be your scraps, um, or, uh, you want to do a stash bust or you have specific colors in mind to match something in your home or your bedroom or whatever. Um, However you want to do it is fine. Um, I am going to be using my scraps and my stash. And um, I'm using all acrylic yarn. Um, you really probably want to try to stick with the same fibers. Uh, whatever you start with. You know, if you use acrylic, I would stick with acrylic throughout the entire blanket. Um, if you do wool you know, stick with wool throughout the entire blanket. You really don't want to mix your fibers depending on how you plan on caring for the the blanket because a lot of your wools will felt if you put them in the dryer. So, um, just keep in mind with that. So, um, so yeah, and uh, the first square of this uh, blanket is going to be the moss stitch. And this is the first square that I done. And with this one, I used, this is just to give you some examples of how you, the different yarns can affect the stitches. So this was like a variegated yarn. And then I used this darker gray color to do my border with. And then this one is the one that is in the tutorial. And I um, sort of striped with two different colors. I, and then used a different color for my border on it. And then I have another little swatch here. Um, uh, for an example of how this stitch would look if you striped every single row. With this one here, I changed colors every two rows. On this one, I only changed, I was changing colors every single row. Now, the difference being is with changing colors every two rows, you can carry your yarn up without having to cut it and weave in all those ends. If you decide you want this look, then you would have to cut your yarn every row and weave in all these ends at the end. It's totally up to you. Um, if you don't mind having to weave in ends, by all means, because this looks awesome. Um, to me, all of them look awesome. So, that being said, um, there, those are the ideas for how your squares can look. So, uh, yeah, let's head on over and get started. All right, so to make this January square, I have chose these three colors. Um, I'm going to be using this, I love this yarn in this grape color. Um, and this is some of my scrap yarn, and it's red. I don't know what color. And then this yellow <clears throat> is what I'll be using for my border color. 
you're gonna need some scissors and a six millimeter crochet hook um, and if you prefer to weave your ends in with a yarn needle you'll need a yarn needle um, however I'm going to be crocheting over mine so let's get started uh, here all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna <clears throat> now I'm gonna be alternating colors every row carrying my yarn up um if you would rather um do that differently you're welcome to if you want to um use a single color you can do that um but it just shows up the stitch you can see the stitch a little better if you um alternate the color but the first thing you're going to want to do is chain 43 So go ahead and chain your 43 chains. If you need additional stitch support for any of these stitches, you can uh, click the link. I'll have the link below. I have the basic stitch tutorials and I will link them below or somewhere in the cards, whatever. Um, I'll link those and you can get the uh, you can watch those for additional stitch support but for the most part for this stitch for this uh, square here all you're gonna need to know is the chain the single crochet and a double crochet and as long as you know know those you're good to go so um, go ahead and chain your 43 chains and I will see you at the end to start the first row. Okay, so once you have your 43 chains, you're going to put a single crochet into the third chain from your hook. So we're not counting this loop on our hook. We're gonna count one, two, three, and then we're gonna single crochet into it. And you can crochet in the back bump if you prefer, you don't have to, because we are gonna be crocheting around the border around this, but that's up to you. So after you do that single crochet, you're gonna chain one. We're gonna skip this next chain and go into the next with a single crochet. Split my yarn. and then chain one skip that next chain go into the next with a single crochet chain one skip the next chain go into the next single crochet chain one skip the next chain go into the next with a single crochet. Just like that. So I think you get the point. <laughs> um, go ahead and complete the rest of this row doing your chain one, single, chain one, skip one, single in the next chain and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so I have almost gotten to the end of my row. I've done this single crochet here and I have two chains left. So I'm gonna 
single or chain one, skip that one, and single crochet into that last stitch. <clears throat> now, because I'm carrying my yarn, I'm going to be doing two rows of purple, two rows of red, two rows of purple, two rows of red. So, um, whether you're changing color during this square or not, at the end of this row, you're going to chain two and turn your work. And then we're going to not worry about this stitch here. We're going to work into this chain space right beside it. We're going to go into it and do a single crochet. And then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip over this next single crochet and go into the next chain space and do a single crochet. Chain one. Skip that next single crochet. Go into that next chain space. Single crochet. Chain one. Skip the next single crochet. Into that next chain space. Single crochet. <clears throat> so you're just going to do this all the way. And if you're like following along with me and changing colors the way that I am, um, you're going to... We're going to change colors at the end of this row. If you're not, then you will continue to just chain two at the end of every row, turn, and do the same thing over and over and over again. So, um, go ahead and continue with this row, and I will meet y'all at the end of this row to show you how to change color. Okay. Okay, so when you get to the end of this row, and you've done that single crochet there, you're going to chain one, and you're going to single crochet into this chain two space. It was these two chains that we skipped at the first of that first row when we were uh, crocheting into our chain. So, crochet, do a single crochet into that chain two space there and make sure that you actually get into the chain two space and not into that single crochet because you can split that single crochet all right and if you are changing colors with me you're just going to drop your perp or your yarn that you're using and bring in your up uh, i'm sorry i keep hitting this you're going to bring in this other color and then chain two and turn your work. And then we're going to skip that first single crochet, go into that chain space with a single crochet, chain one. Skip the single crochet, go in the chain space, single crochet, chain one, skip the single crochet, go in the chain space, single crochet, chain one, skip the single crochet, go in the chain space, single crochet. So if you are changing colors with me, um, then I will show you how to carry this yarn up the side. Um, if you are not changing colors and you're only using one single color, then um, you can just continue on with your square and just keep turning your work every row, um, chain two at the end, and... If you are changing colors, I will meet back with you when I have completed two rows of this red to show you how to swap back to your first color. 
So I will see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so I have done my two rows of my red. So now what I'm gonna do, I've done my single crochet and my chain one there. So I'm going to go into that chain two space right at the end of that row. And I'm gonna pull that, that loop, but I'm not gonna complete that single crochet. I'm gonna take my first color yarn and I'm gonna just pull it up into there like that. Now don't pull it too tight, kinda stretch it back out a little bit so that it doesn't bunch your end of the row up like that. So kinda pull it back a little bit then do your chain two and turn your work. <clears throat> and then just continue with the pattern. Single crochet in, in that first chain space, chain one, skip over that single, single into that next chain space, and so on and so forth. And that's how you're going to change colors every two rows and then it here i'll do a couple more stitches here so you can kind of get the under see how it's gonna be looking so it'll give you that really cool look there so you can actually see the stitch. So everybody, whether you're changing colors or not, we're going to do this for a total of 42 rows. So a way to count these is by counting your single crochets. So like right here, here's one, and you can just zigzag them. So one, two, three, four, five. So you'll just zigzag count up until you have a total of 42 rows and once you have once if you are changing colors once you're ready you've done your two rows of this color and you come back you're just going to pull you in that last chain two space when you pull up that loop don't finish that single crochet then just pull up your second color to bring in your second color back um so go ahead everybody um do the total of 42 rows of this and I will see you back when I have completed my 42 rows and I will show you how to start the border rounds. Okay, so I have completed my 42 rows of my square and you'll notice when I got to the end down here I did not change colors again. I completed that single, that last single crochet with the current color. So I am not gonna be changing colors at this point, but I am done with my red. So I'm going to cut a tail and I will weave that in uh, with a yarn needle. So what we're going to do now to start the border rows, there's actually gonna be two border rows. So um, we're going to chain one here and flip it over. And let me get this red out of the way. We're going to work in every stitch. So in every single crochet and every chain space, we're gonna put a single crochet in the single crochet, single crochet in the chain space, single crochet in the single crochet, single crochet in the chain space, single crochet in the single crochet, single crochet in the chain space. So we're gonna do that all the way across the top here. And when you get to the end and you single crochet in that last chain space, the last, well, the, the last chain two chain space, 
um, you should have 42, you should have 42 single crochets across the top of your square. So go ahead and continue on across and I'll meet you at the corner. Okay, so I've gotten almost all the way to the end of this row and I am single crocheting there and then that's that last single crochet. And then what I was talking about down here is in this chain two space, you're gonna single crochet in it, and that will be your 42nd single crochet. Now, to turn this corner, we're gonna chain two, and then we're gonna go right back in that same chain two space with another single crochet, and that is gonna be the first single crochet along this raw edge here. So, single crocheting down this edge here, you want to just evenly place your single crochets. And what I do is I just put one single crochet in the edge of each row. And that pretty well puts them evenly across the row. Just like this. And when you get down to the bottom, again, you're gonna have 42 single crochets. You can just take your time doing this. I always try to get two loops on my hook when I'm going through that edge just so that it will hold really good. Just like this. And I just put one in every single edge row. So go ahead and continue down and I'll meet you at the other end. Okay, when you get down to the end of this row, I have single crocheted in the edge of that last row there. And now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to go right back in that same place and put another single crochet for it to be the very first single crochet of my row here. Now, when we turn to go down the foundation row here, I'm gonna be crocheting over my tail here. So, now, the way we're gonna do this is you have your first single crochet in that first stitch there, okay? So your second one is gonna go right here beside it. And I'm just going through that chain area, okay? And like I said, I'm gonna crochet over my tail. And then after that, I'm basically just gonna go in these chains with my double I mean my single crochets um, every single stitch and every single chain just like up top only you're doing it at the bottom of the row instead of at the top of the stitches so just like that And I'm still getting two loops on my hook when I'm doing that. So, even when I'm going through that chain. So, continue this the rest of the way across. And you'll have 42 single crochets at the end of this row as well. And I'll meet you at the other side. Okay. So when you have reached the end of this row, you're going to chain two and again, go back in. Actually, this time 
we're going to go into the edge of that bottom stitch right there because you want it to kind of stay even along the edge of your row. So it would be better to go into that edge stitch. You, you really aren't going to be able to tell the difference. So I'm actually going to crochet over my end instead of weaving it in with a needle. So this side, if you carried your work up, I'm going to show you how you can hide that edge uh, stitch. So when you are going in to get your stitch to do your single crochet, just go under that um, carry strand as well as the edge row. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. See, now, Okay, so this is my working yarn. This is that strand that I carried, and there is the strand that I'm going under to do my single crochet. So I'm going to do my single crochet, and it hides that. Now, on this next row here, I'm going to go and hide that red as well just like that and do my single crochet okay and then see here I'm gonna pick up that red and because I'm crocheting over that, I'm going to have two strands of red with this one. But I'm just going to go through all of it and put in my single crochet. And once you have done this a few times, you'll get the hang of it. It's hard for me to do it while I'm filming, trying to stay on camera. Hopefully, y'all can see what I'm, what I'm doing there. Um, I hope I didn't get too much off camera, <clears throat> but I'm just going under the edge, basically, of all of it, catching all of it and hiding it under my single crochet that I'm putting in that edge stitch, just like that. So you're just going to want to do that all the way down, and then I'll meet you at the end of this row to at the, at the beginning of the round. Okay, so I have gotten all the way back down here, and I just want to show you, if you do happen to run out of space, kind of like I did, just sneak your last, because I, I have 41 stitches there, just sneak your last stitch in that same place. It's not going to be noticeable. And then um, we're going to chain two, and then just slip stitch to join to that first single crochet that we made. And then from there, we will tie off just like that. And we are ready for the second row of the border. Okay, so for the second row of the border, I am using this yellow color for my border, or for my second row of the border. I'm going to put a slip knot on my hook, and I'm going, you can pick any of your chain two spaces, be fine, and I'm just going to join my yarn with a slip stitch. Well... If I can get it through there without splitting my yarn. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to still crochet over my tail. 
So we're going to chain three. And we are going to put a double crochet in that very first stitch. And in every single crochet across this row. So, put one single crochet in every stitch and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so once you have put a double crochet in every stitch across and you have come back to your chain two space, in that chain two space we're going to put a double crochet chain two and another double crochet and then we are going to just double crochet in every stitch all the way across again and we're going to do this around the entire square putting one double crochet in every single single crochet and in every corner, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. So continue this all the way around, and I will meet you back at the beginning of the square. Okay, so once you have cro double crocheted in every stitch around, you get back around here, you're going to put one double crochet in that chain two space, chain two, and then we're gonna slip stitch to join to that chain three that we started with, just like that. All right, then we'll cut us a tail, fasten it off, and then we can just weave that in. Mm. If you did like I did and crocheted over all of your tails, then that is the only tail you will have to weave in. Now, I'm going to zoom out some here so that you can see the full square. Okay. So, this is what your square will look like if you did it like mine. Now, if you did it in a solid color then it will just be one solid color it will have a little bit of a ripple to it it's okay you can block it if you want to but it's really not necessary because you can I mean it for the most part lays pretty flat and once we get the rest of the squares added to it it will flatten out more and then you can also block the entire blanket at the end if you want to to help everything lay the way you want it to i am not going to block mine but that is the finished square that is january so there you go we'll see you next time